Hello, and welcome to Andrew Broussard Watercolors. Today, I think it's going to be my last go at this um, subject I've been working on, which is the Tiger Mountain. And it's just a stylized, uh, it's a real place, but I'm just going to be painting a stylized version of it using Chinese watercolor and Chinese ink. I'm not going to go into detail with the materials that I'm using because I talked about them in the previous video. So um, if you want to see all that, just um, kind of backtrack and check those out. I just want to jump right in. So with this, I want to really exaggerate the start of the pathway of the wall and we're looking down onto it where we'll kind of almost see the inside part of the wall that comes up then we have the texture that comes across let the wall come out this way and then cut back and we go over to a kind of watchtower And from here, use a lighter wash, and create my horizon line, which we're then going to have the stylized Chinese mountain range. I'm trying to keep it all basic strokes and not overwork it. When I start adding color, I'll probably start overworking it, but we'll just play around until we get to that point. There we go. Then From there, I've been playing around with this idea of just distant field where our lines and dots would be close together. Then as it gets closer, they're going to get larger. I'm going to stop them about here. So I want a light wash for the sides of the hill, which I'm going to put quite a bit of markings on. Grab some darker ink. I'm going for the feel of tiger stripes. Strong ink. The idea of foliage. You go with a lighter wash. Actually, I think what would be best is darker ink and 
try to create this bridge, this wall, sorry. A little bit better just to help it read easier. The paper really soaks up this ink. dark in that spot right there. Okay, so I'm going to wash off a lot of this ink. I'm going to start playing with the watercolors now. Would we benefit from a dry off? Probably don't need the dry off just yet. I'll work in some areas that aren't aren't wet. This is blue 56, whatever pigment that is. It's Yasutoma, Yasutoma um, brand. Just have the uh, Marie's Chinese white. Pull that right out there. We'll create a wash in the sky. Just kind of mix it right on the paper. The, I think it's the white that's pretty granulated. I'm not sure if it's the brand or just common with whatever's being used for Chinese white. Push this around. Try to get some of those brush strokes out of there. We had a cold front come through yesterday I think it was in the 70s tomorrow morning it will be at 34 so it's been pretty windy today we had some rain I think the northern and middle parts of America are getting some um, snow and sleet right now.
looking at the weather radar earlier today, it looked like parts of Texas had a line of ice or sleet going through it. It's pretty interesting. Okay. I think I'll leave that there. Let's grab a little bit of the green. create a wash with that. Oh, too thick. It's still thick, but let's roll with it and see how it mellows out. that across okay I might go back in and dot some stuff on it I'm gonna grab some yellow and what I think is kind of like a either a sienna or an umber I'll mix those two together these tubes are all blah not one of my come out Let's see where is it it's this one right here look we mix well, the stone walkway type color orangish Lighten it a little bit. We'll go edge to edge. Catch the color right there. <laughs> Tammy. Yeah. He's saying, how dare you paint without me? All right, let's grab some strong green. Malachite. And we'll create our foliage here. Thank you. 
come back. There we go. I want to grab just pure black. Keep the point together. These are the dots that I put in originally. Okay, I'll put some more of that green out. Actually, let's, have, we haven't done any dry off. I'll just go in and put a nice big old moon. Um, use this white to accent tops of the mountains. Yeah, it's about 4.15 in the afternoon on a Thursday. So after this, I am going to spend the rest of the day, the evening, with the cats. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry, and I'm sorry, Abby. Oh. Let's bring that white there and there. Mix in more of that green. Put it out for a reason. All right. Let me switch to a thinner brush. I'm going to write in the text. There is some other stuff I'm going to do after that, but I want to, um, oh, what do I want to do? Grab a lighter yellow area right in here. So I could put a figure on top of it with uh, black ink. So while that's drying, I 
or right in the text. Then we could compare the one from yesterday to this one. Let's see. So with the writing and the text, I don't know Chinese. Um, really? Are all the cats just going to meow their way into our hearts? Okay. So. This one goes a little bit wider. Okay. Now this first one is, I believe, Source of Clouds. The, the, the first vertical. Now, some of these characters like so involved, I have no idea how on earth anyone can fit them in in spaces, in certain spaces. And then putting everything the right size in relationship to each other. No idea. So source of clouds, and then our other one is gonna be Tiger Mountain. I know I'm doing this one in the wrong order. I watched on YouTube how to do it. And then we'll grab, well, this one's mountain. So that's tiger, this is mountain. I think it's Hu Shan or Hu Shu. The middle one has to be taller. Right. Now, I am gonna pause to dry off real quick. All right, hopefully it's dried enough. I'm gonna grab some black ink and I wanna do my Traveler, that is backpack. Staff to walk with. Now I'm going to go back to, well, let's go to the white and Catch that. I think I'm getting a little bit of non white on there. Okay, now using this brush too much water in it once I put it in. It's a little bit long there. And I'm thinking it is about done. I think this is going to be my last go with this one. 
it's definitely been fun playing with this scene and exploring what needed to be done on top of this colored paper. Am I happy with the mountains? This is where you really don't want to start fiddling, but just wash a little bit of ink. We'll see how that dries. Okay, so one last pause and dry off. All right, before it finishes drying off, I figured uh, looking at it through the camera was not a fan with this thicker spot taking place, but we can create our closer tree line right there. Just a little nuance thing. And then we gotta stop messing with it. All right, last dry off. Well, I gotta say, I had a lot of fun with this experiment. I uh, feel like I learned a lot too. And comparing it to the one that I did yesterday, so let me try to make a little bit of space. There we go, there's the one from yesterday. To kind of see some of the differences, some of the things that I kind of went with some changes I had to make, such as where that guy was sitting and the area around him. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, please like, subscribe, follow. If you want to support this channel, a whole bunch of links down below. You all take care and have a great day.